So the nationwide corn shortage caused by the coronavirus pandemic isn't letting up. Yeah, it might be hard for you to get change if you're paying in cash somewhere. Some of the country's mm -hmm. biggest retailers asking for exact change only. CVS, Walmart, Kroger, some of those were requesting that. In Wisconsin, the Community State Bank launched a coin buyback program. You can get a $5 bonus for every $100 worth of coins that you turn in at any of its seven locations. Uh, it, you know, a lot going on here. Obviously, people aren't uh, using cash as much. And because mm -hmm. of that, everyone's coins, it's all, uh, what, Heather, it's all in a jar in your house? Is it it's in a, a it might be. It might be in my couch. Yeah. Is it in my couch back right. here? I could just go check it out, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We don't, I don't, it's funny because I don't use cash all that much anymore. And so I, I don't even have a ton of coins, really. Yeah. Uh, kind of sitting around, even in my wallet. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, I have my kid's piggy bank, but I think the last time I actually put some coins or dollar bills in there has been a long time. I'm the same way. I don't either unless you mm -hmm. find them in the couch. I just don't ever pay with cash anymore. Right. And, and that's the issue, right? Mm -hmm. Like my kids have a lot of coins and uh, frankly, a lot of banks won't even take uh, the coins unless you mm -hmm. wrap them. Mm -hmm. Right. So it used to be you could take mm -hmm. it to the bank and dump it in that cool coin counter that I just thought had magical powers. And it would sort out all the coins. And now you can take them like some of the grocery stores have those things, but you have to pay for it. And so right. I don't know, I don't know, Riley. It's a weird yeah. problem, right? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I remember, you know, this is what we used to do with my, my mom and I, you know, we would save money uh, and put it in a big jar and we yeah. would roll it in the little paper things. And then, you know, we take it to the bank and sometimes that was how we paid for vacations. And I remember that's how we paid for our first VCR back in the day, you know, cause we didn't, we didn't really have yeah. that. So we had to save our coins right. to, to, to pay for that stuff. Yeah. I remember we had one in the supermarket way back when that you could just bring the coins in and dump them in there exactly. after you finish. They charge a fee though. Food. They charge a fee at those things. Yeah. So you, you know, yeah. they, they're, I, I have this like this mental hang up of paying someone to like to take my money. own to care. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. Get from home. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. We want your feedback. We want to know what you think. Do you have a lot of coins that are stored there at home? Would you try and bring them in? Maybe get a new VCR? Would you turn them in for a bonus? Let us know at WCCO.com slash Facebook or comment to us on Twitter. Ron says, just give me what they're worth without charging me to count them. I can't find any place that will do even that. Mm -hmm. And David says, give me a small percent increase and I'll turn them in. Otherwise, I'll just hold on to them till I'm ready. Jamie says, we just cashed in our change and paid for our hotel in Duluth for a weekend. I'll cash it in again when we're ready for another trip. Yeah, a lot of people use coins as kind of like, you, you guys yeah. know, like you could save your money in a bank too. Like there are lots of, you don't have to do it <laughs> by, by having giant, but I think a lot of people find that a, an effective way to save. So there you go. Right.